what's up guys we are still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigeria greetings to you wherever you are so i have a quick update to share with you and then i think uh, peter b is really really working on uh, what is going on so far so good in labor party uh as i speak to you right now uh, it is no longer new so i am not going into details about the political crisis the internal crisis that is rocking labor party all right so guess what in 2027 alex oti is said to abandon labor party uh, as julius abure faction allegedly connives with apc yes that is the truth and nothing but the truth and i believe peter obi will also follow suit because <laughs> uh, nobody knows uh, the moves of uh, julius abure okay so the governor of abia said alex oti has reportedly begun to seek alternative alternative means to his 2027 political future outside the labor party and the obedient movement Okay, so this is coming after the recently regained recognition of Julius Abure faction by uh, INEC. Of course, we remember INEC, uh, sorry, the court had returned uh, Julius Abure back as the national chairman of uh, Labour Party. You understand, after uh, the stakeholder meeting, removing the stakeholder meeting uh, that was convened by Alex Oti and Julius uh, Pitaudi, that removed Julius Abure as the national chairman of the Labour Party. You understand, until a convention is being organized. But the court had to bring back Julius Abure. So Julius Abure was not happy uh, with the development after he was removed by that extended stakeholders meeting, right, that was set up by Peter Obi and Alex Oti and other stakeholders, top stakeholders in the Labour Party. So a report claimed that Labour Party, through the Abure faction, has now become an appendage of the APC. And then source, sources allege uh, that APC, uh, who has sworn to weaken and destabilize any party structure that has the Peter will be in them, any political structure that, you know, that they see Peter will be named ahead of 2027 presidential election. All right, so that is uh, so far what is going on. Okay, the source said, uh, let me just quickly give you the statement of the source. According to the source, familiar with the development, says that, believe it or not, the Abu faction of the Labour Party, which was initially blacklisted by INEC, is now back to reckoning on the strength of INEC and judiciary, and this speaks to how Labour Party has become an appendage of the APC. APC hirelings in the Abu Raleigh Labour Party National Working Committee, who have been heavily compromised, are bent on getting even with Governor T. OB and National and State Assembly members involved in the Umar here meeting and setting up of the Keteka Committee. Ahead 2027, Abu Raleigh and his group are plotting devastating landmines against the category of Labour Party members. I have just mentioned, I have it on good authority that unless higher court eventually sustain Abure's ouster, which in any case looks pretty impossible because certain interests in the ruling APC have completely compromised otherwise impartial state institutions. Everything will be done to deny or make it impossible for OT, OB, seven national and state assembly members who participate in the Umar here meeting to get Labour Party ticket in 2027. Part of the grand design is to collapse the faction into uh, the APC. The other options are either adopt President Tinubu as his presidential flag bearer for 2027, or file a weak Yoruba candidate that will offer feeble or no challenge at all to the president at the poll. So um, notwithstanding, whether political uh, realignment or configuration, His Excellency Peter and the obedient movement may be planning in the face of the mess Labour Party has become. I can reveal to you in confidence that His Excellency 
Governor T is way ahead of Abure and his group in their plan to uh, talk do his second term. Governor T is said to cut a separate independent political future. I can also tell you authoritatively that His Excellency is still a member of the Labour Party only in name. He has his plans and will toward Abure's sinister moves against him. The outcome of the just concluded Abia local government election gives a clue as to what to expect in the run up to 2027. All right, guys, so that is the update so far. So good. Of course, everyone already uh, knew uh, that uh, Abure will do everything humanly possible. People already know that um, Abure has already been compromised. You understand? He's a politician now. I keep telling people, if we are doing politics, let us do politics with our head, not our heart. He's a politician. His political career is not tied down to Peter B or Julius or Alex Suti. You understand? That is politics for you. So I am not here to criticize Abure. Why will Abure do such a thing or thereabout? That is politics for you. You will not sit down and expect APC to fold their arms, especially the way things are. Nigerians has already, you know, given up on APC ahead of 2027. So they have to make sure they do everything humanly possible to dismantle any opposition, any strong opposition that comes their way, any structure that, you know, that opposition may gain popularity. They will do everything humanly possible to thwart it. And they know that Peter will be is a very strong opposition. You understand? Contender to Peter, uh, to Tinibu. I think Kwabubaka as well. And personally for me, I think unless I think Kwabubaka, Peter will be conquered, so, you know, form collation, that is the only way they will succeed. The way things are going, that is the only way they will succeed. The way things are going. You understand? So Alex T, so far, as for, you know, derive uh, some moves, to is seeking alternative to make sure that he will leave Labour Party because as long as Abure still remain as the chairman of Labour Party, Abure, Abure will do everything humanly possible not to give uh, Alex Oti return ticket to uh, uh, 2027. You understand as the second tenor. No wonder APC, the uh, Speaker House of uh, uh, State House of Assembly, you understand, brag that. In 2027, that APC will take over uh, Abia State, will take over Labour Party in Abia State. You understand? He bragged about that. Maybe already they have, you know, uh, they have started uh, to work on the ground on how to achieve their goals. So Alex Oti, on the other hand, need not to sleep. And Peter Obi, on the other hand, I think he's not sleeping. Because Peter Obi is already gathering obedient movement. So I believe Peter Obi will also unveil another political party, which he will, you know, uh, contest election in 2027. Because already, all the obedience is wherever Peter Obi goes, that is where they will go. Labour Party became popular less than a year when Peter Obi came on board. So the same momentum Peter Obi had with Labour Party, I think, any political party Peter Obi goes to, that will be the same, you understand, know, recognition and momentum he will get. So now Nigerians, they are beginning to be wise. They are now voting individual. I think they will vote individual, not political party. So anything APC will do uh, to cripple the structure of uh, Peter Obi, you understand, they will do it. Anything they will do to cripple the structure of Kwon Kwaso, they will do it. All right, I quickly wanted to update you that Alex Otu, Oti, is already, you know, thinking of alternative because he knows that Julius Abure faction of Labour Party will not allow him to contest 2027 election. Let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.